Oh, here, check this out. What? Look at, grab one of these. These are, grab one of these. <laughs> these are one of my favorite animals in the world. These are the cool, these are These aren't far. jalapeno poppers, you know. <laughs> grab one of these and a beer, man. Can oh, I hold yeah. it by the tail? Is you this can, okay? Yeah, hold it by, well, hold it by the tail. Hold her like that. Look at, she hangs right up. Well, you're used to seeing him wrangle wild animals, but today it's all about our domestic four-legged friends. Zoologist Jared Miller joins us now with our little model, Gracie. Good morning. Good morning, Courtney. How are you? Good morning, Gracie. Great. Welcome to Winnipeg. We're so happy well, to have you. Well, thank you. Because this, this is a very timely issue. Absolutely. Well, it is Lyme Disease Awareness Month, so we want to talk about how you can protect your pets and protect yourself as well. Uh, Bayer did a recent study that showed, well, first off, that 7 out of 10 Canadians surveyed really value the health of their pet even over their own. I believe it. And with that being said, <laughs> now that the weather's getting nicer, you know, exposure to Lyme disease, and, and which is carried by ticks, is higher than, uh, than it ever has been. So, Oh, boy. You know, and then also, too, um, that really only about 25% of Canadians even know what Lyme disease is or have very little information so that we want to t tell everyone you know keep your pets and yourselves healthy this this spring okay so we have some graphic photos yeah. tell us what is this this is that's the culprit right there that that's a deer tick and they're found all over uh, all over Canada we have four species of ticks but that's the one that not, not to say that all ticks carry Lyme disease which is a little bacteria but um, but it they you know you can be exposed to them and really what, what happens the tick carries the disease it, it can be uh, it can give your dog Lyme disease and then also if your dog comes into your house bringing that tick in and you get bit by it, you could also get Lyme disease as well. Oh, yikes. Yeah, it's dangerous stuff. And as far as size goes, this yeah, what we're looking at. Yeah, they're tiny little guys. That's, that's a dime there. And that's one that's full of uh, full of blood right there. And what a tick does is actually it attaches to your dog or attaches to you, buries its head into the skin. And at that point, that's what makes them dangerous. They can uh, transmit the Lyme disease that well. And Lyme disease is something that, you know, it's very hard to detect. My aunt actually lived with Lyme disease for 10 years before it was diagnosed. No way. Yeah, I mean, some of the early symptoms Symptoms are, you know, fatigue, uh, soreness in your joints because it affects your, your neurological system. Well, we brought Gracie here yeah. because quite often you think outdoors, you think bigger dogs that are going yeah. to the lake, spending lots of time outdoors, but it's right. little dogs too. Little dogs too, and it's all different areas. Obviously, ticks are more around wooded areas and grass areas, but what we want to talk about to, to combat it, prevention is key. And that's why Bear came up with uh, oh, Canine Advantix. And look at this, and, and it's a very simple, simple uh, treatment. What you do is you go to your vet here in Canada. It is, um, you need to get a prescription, but you can apply this yourself. So what you do, it comes in a liquid form. It's topical, so you apply it right to the dog's shoulder blades. And within 24 hours, it actually, your dog itself becomes resistant to it. And this is uh, uniquely, this product's so unique because it actually kills the tick before it's able to bite and transmit the Lyme disease. Wow, which is exactly where you want to get it. Exactly. Before. Well, a really easy ways to protect your pet this summer and like we said no dog is too small there is no dog too big that is a risk for all pets and it is something that owners do want to take into consideration this summer yeah. thank you so much for You're being welcome, here Courtney, thank you yeah, come back to Winnipeg anytime absolutely thank you and if you want more information you can visit uh, nobiteisright.ca to learn how to protect your dog and yourself against ticks this spring perfect and we have that up on breakfasttelevision.ca